Hello everyone, this is gonna be a video about how to make an automatic wheat harvester. Now, I know people have done this before, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. And this one's gonna be fairly simple. Many of you have seen this one. If you have, that's great. If you haven't, then it'll be something new, but it's very effective. And you can make this in both survival and well, whatever. Now, basically, you're gonna need just any building to block. It can be stone, whatever. I'm, I'm just using stone just because I, I like the look of it. And you're going to need just one bucket of water. Now because I'm on creative, yeah, I have infinite. Now water can travel seven squares, but I like to do six. So what we will do, I should really take that water out. Where is the bucket? Not lab, but fuck it. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Sprung a leak. Okay. So what you're gonna need to do is build one piston going up, and that. Oh, not there. Here I'll do it. Let's make this look nice by putting stone there. Okay, so. As you can see, right, put some redstone down to, and this doesn't have to be a flashy redstone desi design, I'm just going to do a simple one, and this one will be from the back. And where, where is that? Okay, so, it is there. Actually, I'll do it from the side be easy. Cover that up. Okay. And you can make it from below if you want. I'll show you my... I've actually built one of these in survival on a much larger scale, so I'll show you guys this. And if you haven't haven't seen a piston work, just pushes it up. Let's turn it off for now. Okay, and let's get some water in there. Up first, we need to make this. And what you want to, what you, what you're going to want to do is put your piston up. Your piston's gonna always want to be up. If it's not up, then your water will just stop flowing out. And this works in version 1.0, and the pistons can stop water if they're up and it doesn't flow through. See, as you can see, it's stopped by this piston. And I'll, I'll just let, let the piston go down, just to let you see. See how it flows down? And then you push the piston again. Oh, it seems like... Oh yeah, I haven't built my channels yet. My fault. So, let's get a bucket. Okay. Redstone. Turn that thing off. Okay. There we go. Now, you can build your channel. You can build this thing as long as you want. It doesn't doesn't really matter. So let's turn our piston on, and we drop a bucket of water. In. So your your machine should look around like this. What this looks like. With redstone activating the piston, the piston is up, water trapped in a 1x1 one one or a 3x1 or whatever you want to call it with one in there and then you build sides to make sure the water doesn't run out. fill this in with dirt so we can grow some crops. Don't need that shovel. Since I am on creative mode. Okay, so let's see. Water can run at seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go down at six. And then you need to go down one level. So one, two, three, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down another level. One, two. Actually, that would be good. Okay, let's plant some seeds. Oops. Let's put some seeds down. Seeds. Oh yeah, my fault. I forgot to till the land. Come on, till faster. Okay, let's do this now. Now, my fault there. Planting seeds. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And quick tip, sneak. You can't fall off anything if you didn't know that. Let's plant some seeds. Planting seeds. Hey, you. Ugly. Get out of here. Get out of town. Okay. I'll just grow these. I'll show you mine that I made in my survival mode. I'll show that right after I show this. So, fail jump there, but oh well. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, your automatic wheat harvester should look a little bit like this. You can you can just change it up. Just do whatever you like to it. But it should have the piston up and the water block. Now, for this sake, oh, and the water will push all the wheat down and gather them. It also gets seeds, so don't worry about not getting seeds. So, make our redstone again, and you can just use this. I accidentally hit that there. So, let's turn it off by turning it on. We always want the piston on when we turn it off. And we can easily plant seeds again. No need to till the land after. And instead of going by and collecting them, and then tilling the land again, you can easily just get that. And out of that one strip, I got loads and loads of wheat. Just easily, without any hassle, no need to go back and till the land, or click, click, click. And that's it, so peace out. Okay, now that I've finished that, let's get down to business. So, first I'm just going to show you my redstone setup. So, basically, these redstones are connected to the pistons that are just a block above. Now, the redstone will go up one, so that will work. And I will reconnect my redstone for you. In case it's like, burp, doesn't work, burp, which would be disastrous. Okay, so, open is the sleeve, so, let's go. Open. Mwah, look at all that. Look at all my wheat. I, mmm. Nommy, nom, nom. Bread. I'm gonna have so Oh man, I'm gonna have so much bread by the end of this. It'll be unbelievable. Hey, you pig. My bread. Okay, so I will close this. And as you can see, ground is still fertile, so much easier, much, much, much easier to put the seeds back to regrow some more wheat. Okay. Uh, most of this wheat hasn't finished yet, but I'm not running back up there and starting it again. So, 
Let's see how much we. Let's see how much we I get. Let's have a little competition. I think I'll have. This is the first time I've ever done this too. Oh, see, that's a little fix I gotta do. I'll fix that. So most of my wheat, as you can see, I dug another channel going down here, and that will just push all the wheat here. So I think I'm gonna have like 150 wheat. I'm just gonna guess that. Okay, and jump out here, and so 60, 120. Oh, I have way more. I have about 204, 240 wheat. So that's just a little tutorial on how to build a uh, automatic wheat harvester. Peace out.